In the early 1800s, the United States was under pressure to put a stop to the vast numbers of African slaves entering the country. Following the lead of Great Britain, the U.S. agreed to abolish the lucrative trade. The Americans outlaw the Atlantic slave trade in 1808. And in 1820, it's declared an act of piracy, punishable by death. So by the 1820s, it's illegal for American sailors to engage in the trade as well. While four million slaves remained captive on United States soil, the U.S. Navy was given the job of ensuring that number didn't grow. A small fleet known as the Africa Squadron was formed to hunt down slave ships leaving Africa and bound for Cuba and South America. When you have a profit margin of 1,000%, even if it's illegal, people are going to do it. In September 1860, the Constellation was patrolling close to the Congo River Delta. For weeks, there had been no sign of slave ships. Then, on the afternoon of the 25th, one of Constellation's lookouts spotted a sail on the horizon. She's in a suspicious area where we know there's some trouble going on. Constellation is a very fast ship. We fire a warning shot that says, stop your ship, and the ship doesn't stop. The Constellation gains on the fleeing vessel. As it does, it becomes clear what cargo the ship is carrying. She starts by throwing over jetsam and flotsam into the water, trying to lighten the ship to make it go a little faster. Then they employ a tactic where they start to unload some of their more important cargo, the human cargo. The hope is that the Constellation, given that its mission is to save those people, will stop to rescue people out of the water. Faced with a horrendous decision, the Constellation pursues the slave ship. It fires shots through its rigging to force a surrender. The ship is identified as an American vessel named the Cora. The captain and crew of the Cora were arrested, transferred to the Constellation, and taken back to the United States to be tried. No longer destined for a life of slavery, 705 Africans were taken to the U.S. Protectorate of Liberia and were set free.